On a normal school day, Jalal Webe would be greeting his students. Instead, the principal of Marianne Boys School walks through empty classrooms and takes stock of the damage caused by the quake. Children can't return until it's deemed safe, but it's not clear how long that will take. We are afraid of aftershocks that may in turn lead to more damage in the future. I urge the concerned parties to help us to continue the educational process here for the sake of the children. The school and the teachers and the students all need help. Students stuck at home are making the best of a bad situation. Mustafa and Kasim do what studying they can, but mostly they're helping out at their father's shop. Their school is in rebel-controlled Idlib, so it's not the first time their education has been disrupted. We were very scared because of the earthquake. We ran out of our house and we haven't gone to school since the day it happened. Our school was previously shelled by government forces. Then the earthquake caused many cracks in it. It wasn't long ago that their school looked like this. The building needed extensive renovation after being hit by a government bomb. The damage of the quake is yet another setback to their schooling. The earthquake caused many cracks in the walls of the school. So we stopped going to school for fear of aftershocks. Everyone here fears for our lives and the lives of the students. For now, all schools are suspended in opposition-controlled parts of Syria. Students don't know when they'll be back in the classroom again. Some could reopen as early as next week, but others that are badly damaged could remain closed for a lot longer. Vincent Monaghan, Al Jazeera.